All right, so uh, here we go. We're in the second city. I don't remember the name of it, but yeah. So today we're gonna go up route, uh, route 30 and go to Violet Town or city, and uh, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna grab the map and talk to a few people in here. I don't know why. These are, I don't think anybody gives you anything in this town besides the map, but I talk to them anyways. I don't know. No reason in particular. Uh, yeah, so, I was doing some more thinking of Ladyba, and, um, it turns out that Ladyba doesn't learn any, like, special moves besides, like, Reflect and those types, Light Screen, and I'm pretty sure the rival has a Ghastly when you fight him in, uh, the second town, or the second gym leader town, uh, I don't know, I think it's, like, a... I don't know which one it is, but it's got the Grass Gym Leader. I'll remember the name sooner or later. But yeah, so these people are talking about becoming Gym Leaders and whatnot, but yeah, probably not. Uh, these people don't even pay attention to me. They just sort of, like, tell me something. They're just ignoring me. So I could just, like, walk in and rob them. So, yeah, so here we go. Um, I did off-screen grind to level 8. Because, uh, yeah, it kind of sucked until, yeah, so it learned supersonic and you'll see that I really like whore it because I've never really used a Pokemon that has supersonic and it's just so fun. So I guess I'm going to give Sprocky a, uh, berry right here. Uh, so I'm still, re like, this still isn't live, but yeah. So yeah, you'll get to see me use Supersonic like nine times on this guy's Rattatad because it's just so fun. I've never had a Pokemon that knew a move that could confuse that I was actually using for something important. But here we go. Oh well anyways, like I was saying, like with the Ghastly, uh, so I don't have a single idea how I'm going to exactly beat it because, uh, yeah. I guess I'd only be able to use Supersonic and hope it confuses itself to death, but I doubt that'll happen. And I, I don't know if it knows Course yet, uh, or Curse, what, however you say it, but if it does, it's going to be pretty difficult. So, my guess is I'll know, like, Reflect and Light Screen by the time I get there, because I think I learned them at, like, 22. So, by the time I fight my rival, I'm pretty sure I might know them so it'll make it a lot maybe a little bit easier but other than that I don't know so this might be a failed run I'm gonna hope it's not but yeah I've done a few more parts past this one and now I'm recording the voice for him but uh I've gotten through Sprout Tower and I think that's about it that I've recorded uh I did record a grind session that I might put up it was only five minutes and it was from like little um 13 to level 15 or 16 because I wanted to learn Comet Punch, but you learn Comet Punch at 15, but I don't know if I went further on, or if I stopped it, uh, but yeah, so level 9, fighting some Caterpies, uh, Supersonic, like, you see, I, I continue to use it, it's so fun to watch, to just see Pokemon hit themselves, but I hate being confused, because it seems whenever one of my Pokemon becomes confused, it always hits itself, which is horrible. Alright, so this guy doesn't give anything. And uh, later on when we're uh, exploring Violet City, I run into some weird guy, sort of like this, this sleeping guy who's teaching me about berries. But this guy talks like Yoda, and I never noticed this before in this game. And I've played through Silver a lot. But uh, it was really, really awkward. Yeah. So, a couple people who do... Uh, solo runs on YouTube have said they're gonna mention me in some of their videos and it's pretty cool so yeah um, it's like BW5454 he, he said he was gonna do it and he's pretty cool uh, and then there's uh, a new guy who watched my video just a little bit ago that he was gonna do it DJ um, something I can't say it the DJ Ottawa or something 24 like if you look at my first video and look at the comments you'll find him I can't say his name but yeah um, he said he's gonna mention me in one of his videos it's pretty cool and yeah so 
pretty much from here on, like, we're gonna beat this guy, and then we're just gonna go explore Violet City. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do. So here's me messing with a Kakuna. I don't have to, but I, I just love using Supersonic. It's pretty fun, because they keep hitting themselves, and it's like, yeah, that's fun. But yeah, so I'll use... I'm probably going to end up relying on that until I get the golden rod and I get the punches, fire punch, thunder punch, and ice punch, which I'm probably going to end up using those for most of the run because it learns no other moves. So this guy tells me to visit Sprout Tower, which I will do in the next segment. Uh, she says something about calling home, but I don't really care about my home, so I'm not going to do it. So this lady goes to rumor to appear in Sprout Tower. Yeah. I don't think you can get Ghastly in this one. You might be able to, but I think that's gold that you can get Ghastly in. I don't remember. Um, but I'm still pretty sure your rival has one, so you might be able to get in this. Alright, so this guy talks about trading, and the other guy wants to trade a Bell Sprout for an Onyx. And normally, like, every time I play, I'll do it, but uh, the Onyx never listens. So this is, um, the, uh, the whatever, the school, the Pokemon school, and no nobody gives me anything, they just talk a lot. But the teacher's missing, and the person who I was talking about earlier, who talks like Yoda, happens to be the teacher, and it's really awkward. Like, he, you'll see, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm about to go to him, and after the old guy, it's the fat guy in the corner, you can see him looking. Now, here he is, it's pretty awkward, hello, or Pokemon, battle gym leader, when you did, that's some Yoda talk going on. So I said yes, and then he said something else, and I was like, what? And I was like, you know what? What's happening if I say no? So I said no, and he started dragging me off. So study you shall. It's just the most random thing ever. So I walk in, and I talk to him some more, and it's it, it just weird. It says, want to be a winner is you. It, that's horrible. Like, I, I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan, but that's just weird to see in Pokemon but yeah uh, so I'll talk to him for a bit and then it's just like see if he says anything different so he does twice and then he doesn't say anything alright so then I go on and I think I go by oh no I just talk to the rest of the people in town and that's pretty much all I do for the segment but yeah um, I did an all screen grinding session to 15 like I said and if you watch this and you want me to put it on YouTube, I will. Because I did record it, thinking I might put it on. But if not, you don't have to. It turns out that lady who just said that she names her Pokemon after food, she names her Pidgey Strawberry. And that's just random. Because there's a lot of random stuff in this game that I probably didn't notice when I normally played through. Because normally I'd rush through it because, yeah, that's how I play games. But... Now, I sort of pay more attention, so we're pretty much at the end. We're going to go stop off at the Pokemon Center, and that'll be the end. So, uh, that's Violet City and Route 30. I, I might, after I beat it, I might go back and explore some more, but, yeah, so next segment will be Sprout Tower, and that's, yeah, so see ya.